Chelsea, what's going on with you? I don't know. You've never been like this when I've been out with you. Hey, baby, will you tell I called when you were right here? Come here. I'm towing the vehicle. Come That's here. That's the reason why I'm doing an inventory. Ever know someone who thinks they're the boss of everything? Well, get ready for some stories that'll make you ask, what were they thinking? This is my yard. You better okay. go talk to him first. Today, we've got four encounters where people act like rules don't apply to them. So, what happens when these women believe they're above the rules everyone else follows? Stick around because we're about to uncover these wild stories that'll make you wonder, can they really get away with that? Okay, you can argue that all you want. Hello. It's all on camera, there's cameras everywhere. Our first incident involves a young, rich, and drunk woman named Christina. On August 16th, 2022, a police officer noticed Christina driving through a red light with very loud music. The officer pulled her over and turned on his light. Close your door. Close your door. Hey, get back in your f***ing car. Get back in your car. No, I'm not. I parked 6205 dispatch. Females walking away from the vehicle. Take I another parked unit. Put your hands behind your back. You're not I walking away from the traffic stop. Put your hands behind your back. Get in. Put your hands behind your back. Please go. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Get your hands. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Christina parked her car, got out, and started walking away from the traffic stop. The officer commanded Christina to get back in her car, but she refused and kept walking away. Get off of me. Five dispatch. I got one female resisting counties out with me. Put your hand behind your back like I told you. But I did nothing wrong. Yes, you did. What did I do wrong? Ow. Stand up. Stop. I will. Uh, 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 no, you're not going to walk man. away from a traffic stop. It, tra it was not a traffic stop. Sorry. It was not. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Thanks, man. Appreciate you stopping. Yeah, you can't just walk away from a traffic stop. I didn't. It's all on Thank camera. You. It's all on camera. How camera. is it? No, I, I didn't. Oh, sorry. Walk to my car over here, okay? The officer rushed over, told her to put her hands behind her back because she was under arrest. Christina resisted and argued that she didn't do anything wrong. The officer called for backup as Christina continued to resist arrest, seemingly fueled by overwhelming alcoholic confidence. Once backup officers arrived, they were able to handcuff Christina and get her under control. Okay, I will not have fire. Sorry. Yeah, well, you're not listening to anything I'm telling you. I have to put my hands on you. You pulled And you're resisting. Right, but it was a traffic stop. Yes, okay. it was a traffic stop. I got to No, it wasn't. One. Okay, you can argue that all you want. It's all on camera. There's cameras everywhere. I know it is. Okay. And what did I do? Wrong. Please tell me. Blasting your music, and you rolled the red uh, light right here. You didn't even let me explain because well, you got out of the car and started walking away. Because I parked my car? The lights were on well before we even turned the corner. Where's your ID as in your purse? Yes. Okay. And I parked my car because... Yeah, you're right. That's a lot of room. She just won't stop. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Would you mind searching it, please? Yeah. It's, it's pretty serious. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have any answers on the No. Are that's you pretty serious? Dumb. Yeah, I'm serious. That was really dumb what you did. What did I do? I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. All right. The officer took Christina to his patrol car and read her Miranda rights. He explained that he stopped her for loudly blasting music and rolling through a red light both of which were caught on camera. He also noticed signs of intoxication, like slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, and the smell of alcohol. There was also an open container of alcohol spilled on the floor of Christina's car. Handcuffed, Christina kept asking what she did wrong, but despite the officer's attempts to explain the reasons for the stop, she remained uncooperative, arguing that she did nothing wrong. Okay, are you okay with running a few tests up on the curb? They'll take the cuffs uh -huh. off you. Are you okay with doing a few tests though? Uh -huh. It's a yes or no question. Are you okay with doing well, tests? Well. It's a yes or a no question. No. You don't want to do tests? I'm my my rights are I know that. So I'm ready to go. Okay. 
So with your slurred speech, your open alcohol container, your bloodshot watery eyes, your behavior, uh -huh. you're under arrest for DUI as well, okay? So DUI and resisting without violence, okay? The officer took her to the custody car, where he told her about the charges and the situation as part of their protocol. A struggle ensues, and the officer, determined to maintain control, insists on conducting a standardized field sobriety test. Christina, undeterred, casually quips, I'm good, baby. Christina's attempts to downplay the seriousness of the situation and her refusal to comply with the tests only add fuel to the fire. I literally told you verbatim, get back in your car and you didn't listen to me. I was in the park for Sunday, I was Hennepin County, huh? Minneapolis. That's my neck of the woods. Oh yeah, don't you hear it in my voice? When I called out your license plate, I said Minnesota. Um, you're gonna be getting a handful of tickets. Okay, one for the music, one for the red light, one for the open. And then, and then one for the open container in your car. So I don't know. No, so listen to me, Christina. Hey, listen to me. The officers transported her to jail, where they learned that her driver's license plate reveals a revoked license, further complicating the situation. Christina was eventually charged with loud music violations, running a red light, open container violation, resisting arrest without violence, as well as driving under influence. Her third violation in 10 years, and driving with a revoked license, but the drama doesn't end here. Brace yourself for another traffic stop that spiraled into the apprehension of both the driver and the passenger. Dominic. Dominic, who's Dominic? Our next incident stars Mercedes and her boyfriend, Dominic, stopped on a roadside. It was a chilly night on January 28th, 2023, at 11.16 p.m., when officers initiated a traffic stop setting the stage for a sequence of events that would leave a lasting impression. Mercedes finds herself in the spotlight when officers pull over the vehicle she's in. So, Officer Smith, officer that just pulled, is this your boyfriend, husband? This is my husband. Okay, hold your husband out because he feels that he might be under the influence of alcohol or something like that, okay? So he's taking him out. He's gonna run him through some tests just to make sure he's good to drive. And then he's we'll okay go. to drive. Okay, where are you guys coming from? Where were you? Where were you coming from? Yeah. We're coming from downtown. Downtown? Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys just hanging out, and you guys are heading home, or? We're just heading home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything happen on the drive or anything mm -hmm. like that? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Has he had anything drink time? No. no. He hasn't. Okay. Do you mind if I get your driver's license from you? Mm -hmm. Of course suspecting the driver of driving while intoxicated. Little do they know, this encounter is about to take an unforeseen turn. No, I can drive this truck home. If you want to drive this truck home, we're going to have to run you through a field sobriety test, but I already can tell right now you're not going to pass. So, so can I get your ID? Well, can I... What is my boyfriend going through? Say it again. What is my boyfriend going through? Uh, he's being arrested right now for DWI. As officers approach, body cam footage reveals a perplexing exchange between Mercedes and the police. The situation takes an unexpected detour when the officer questions her about the driver's sobriety. Mercedes, the passenger, not only appears highly intoxicated, but also refuses to provide identification. Amid the tense atmosphere, the suspect's behavior escalates. She engages in bizarre conversations, flirts audaciously with the officers, and resists any attempt to establish order. The officers' efforts to conduct a field sobriety test are met with defiance, creating an increasingly chaotic scene. Don't go into those people's yard. Mercedes, do you want to ride home? No. Go ahead. What are you going to do? Because you're too drunk to be sitting here. I can't leave you here. So what are we going to do? I'm trying to help you. I've only been nice to you and you're not being nice back. 
Well, if you want to be nice, help me find my phone. Okay, can we go back to the truck to find your phone? Uh, my phone's right here! What do you mean? Coming out with my phone! Okay, well, your, your ride is driving off, so we're running out of options. Okay, I'm not going in the weeds. Come out of the weeds. Extremely intoxicated passenger that's trying to walk in the cold weeds! Dude! Are you gonna be nice? No, I'm mean. Okay. Well, why would you want to be mean? <laughs> no, I'm gonna be nice. It's perfect. Oh, come on. Now right, you're gonna make me fall in the weeds. Sorry, I'm really sorry. Okay, come on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go back to the truck where it's warm. Let's do that. Let's go back to the truck so we can get your phone. And your purse, you left your purse. I don't care. Well, you're gonna need that. Here, oh, hold on. Okay, honey. Put your shoe on. Okay, let's go back to the truck so we can sit down. Let's go, come on. I'm gonna help you. No, you're not. Well, why would I not wanna help you? Look at me. What's wrong with you? Look at me in my eyes. What? Look at me in my eyes. I am looking in your eyes. Let's go, so I can help you get out of the cold. It's freezing out here. And I'm out of the cold. <laughs> Do you have family that lives around here that'd be able to pick you up? Let's look over here. <laughs> Don't fall. Let's take a seat. Let me have a ride home. Do you have family? Dominic. Dominic. Who's Dominic? Who's Dominic? Is that who the you have? The man you just oh. arrested. Wow. 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 And I'll remember so that. do you have family to pick you up or not? When you have family to arrest you, I'll remember that. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? Let's go back over here, okay? I don't want you to trip in the... Do you know where that Murphy's gas station is? Oh, 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 oh. I can oh, see... Oh, oh, oh. Please don't. I'm you have no sense. You have a... I'm checking. Yeah, I'm towing the vehicle. Come I'm here. The unit. Come I'm here. I'm towing the vehicle. Come that is here. The reason why I'm doing an inventory. Okay? Listen. I don't need Listen. to show me. You're so Listen. 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 I'm trying to avoid you getting arrested for being disorderly. Okay, let me do my job. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And yes, we're gonna wait for your ride. I don't want to arrest you. Please. Do you understand? Please. That's it. Just like the Got it. That's it. Ma'am, she's going to be arrested for this early. That's twice that she's tried to struck us. Okay, okay so on. at this time, she is going to be arrested, okay? Let's go. What's your number? I'm Officer Gomez. Take a seat. What's your number? Take a seat. What's your number? Take a seat. What's your number? Take a seat. They allowed her to call her mom and even spoke to her to arrange a pickup as she was unable to drive or walk home by herself. But as the situation unfolds, Mercedes's resistance continues. Refusing to cooperate with the officer's request to search the vehicle before towing, she interferes with the necessary procedures. This prompts the officers to make the difficult decision to place her under arrest, compounding the charges against her. Mercedes, now emotional and arguing with the officers, was asked to sit in the car again. So, no, 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 you're okay, you're okay, it's not your yeah. fault. So they stopped her, they stopped Dominic, we arrested him, we're trying to keep her under control. She takes off, runs and falls in the weeds. 
We help take her out. Mm -hmm. I'm, while I'm talking with you the first time, mm -hmm. my partner's trying to inventory the vehicle so we get it towed. Yeah. She runs in there and throws my partner out of the way. Mm -hmm. So we give her a break, we give you back. Yeah. Talk to her. Uh -huh. While we're talking with you, she goes to slam the door on us again while we're standing in the truck. So we, we, we can't at this point. We've given her too many chances. Okay. Um, the only, what I can do for you is I can ask her if she wouldn't talk to me if you can take her purse and stuff. Okay. So what, what do I, she has work in the morning. What do I need to do? I would How just... How can I get her out? Uh, to be honest, she's probably going to have to see a judge. There's, there's not going to be a bond or anything on this. Monday. Meanwhile, her mother arrived at the scene, and one of the officers reported the whole incident and why they had arrested Mercedes on a charge of assaulting a police officer two times. The conversation shifts to practical considerations, such as Mercedes' work commitments the next morning. The officer provides a candid assessment, stating that seeing a judge is likely unavoidable, given the nature of the charges. Why were you arrested? Why were you arrested? Who did you battery on a police officer Can and disorder me? Disorder me on a police officer? No, I said battery on a police officer. How? So when you ran back in the truck and pushed my partner, that's battery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it's okay. I get paid the big bucks too. Yeah? For what? Better than you. <laughs> I mean, like, like probably. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like you have to like do with people like. Like you. Oh yeah, like me. Oh yeah, you know, like me. I'm sure. Yeah, I deal with people like you all the time. Locked up in a cell, Mercedes demands an explanation from an officer. He tells her the charges again hitting a cop and making a scene. She still doesn't believe it and asks for more proof of her supposed crime. The officer, adopting a straightforward tone, explains that the battery charge stems from Mercedes's actions when she ran back into the truck and pushed the officer's partner. Mercedes was charged with two counts of battery upon a peace officer and two counts of disorderly conduct. As we wrap up Mercedes's story, get ready for a darker twist in our next incident. So you want me to go to... So y'all want me to go to the jail? Our third incident involves a 30-year-old Dennis and a group of women. On January 23rd, 2022, a police officer observed a vehicle driven by 30-year-old Dennis accelerating at high speed out of a parking lot, nearly hitting pedestrians and parked cars. The officer conducted a traffic stop on the vehicle. You don't, man? Yeah. You don't? Hey, man. You need to stop tensing up. You understand me? Yeah. You do? What do you have on? What do you have on you? Be yeah. honest with me, man. Uh, honest goes a long way with me. Let me see your hands real quick, man. Dennis was placed in handcuffs and questioned if he had been drinking. The officer performed a horizontal gaze nystagmus test on Dennis's eyes to check for signs of intoxication. Dennis unsurprisingly failed the test. You said yes? What's your, what's your answer? I'm asking if you give me consent to draw your blood to see if you just... Draw my blood? Yes, sir. No, I ain't trying to draw Okay. So, your refusal to give consent for blood is going to be written up as a DUI refusal, okay? You're under mean? arrest right now for driving under influence. Oh, no. Nah. I'm saying you can draw it. I don't I, it. It's just your consent, sir. It's, I can't. I can't. How you draw draw right now? We'll do it at the jail. We have a nurse at the jail that does it. So we're just asking if you give us cons if you give consent for a blood draw for a sample of your blood. Yeah, so, so if under I don't give consent, consent what do you mean? It's a refusal. So what do you mean? You can be written a citation for DUI refusal. They can be jail for DUI. <laughs> And I'm, we're going to take your driver's license from you. So if I refuse, say you're going to take my driver's license. That's what I just read you, implied consent. So okay. refusal is an automatic one year suspension. So you want me to go to, so y'all want me to go to the jail? We, we don't want you to go to jail. You're going to go to jail for the UI, either way. You're under arrest right now for the UI. I just read you Georgia implied consent. Man. So either way, I'm going to jail. Yes. 
be but I just need a yes or no if you want to give consent for your blood. November, zero, I don't know if I don't think I'm good. Okay. If I'm going to go to jail anyway. Okay. So you're refusing to give us consent for your blood. I just need a yes or no. I have to ask. I'm, saying, look, <laughs> I'm not trying to coerce you or anything. I'm just, I just read you implied consent. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just asking you if you give consent for a blood draw. To make sure you, to see where your blood alcohol content is. Okay, we'll, we'll write up as a refusal. Thank you. In a potentially dangerous twist, Mr. Dennis now faces further complications as he refuses to comply with a blood alcohol test. The officers attempt to explain the consequences of refusal, leading to a tense standoff. I'm in the club. They understand. Hi, sir. Hey, how you doing? Are you going to make her okay? Am I going to what? Are you going to let her go home? In this vehicle? Yeah. No, nah, this vehicle didn't tow. Excuse me, sir. But you'll let her go. Oh, she's not detained. She can go wherever she wants. So her, the vehicle be towed? No, the vehicle's going to get towed, yeah. Okay, but... It's Joanne. Can you stop? I was telling you a few minutes ago, I was calling his girlfriend to come over here. And that's why I was calling, so she please. can get his car, please. Like, please, the time, please. Like, he, we know he's getting arrested. But as far as the car, can he not, can she not? I called her when, when she first, like, when that's he was first out here. Amidst the escalating situation, a group of unidentified women approached, engaging in a heated argument with the officers. Sometimes you be in the law. I'm a unit director or like a school system. I'm not gonna tell you what because I'm out here tonight. I don't, I, on my I birthday mean, acting not, fool. That's but what I'm telling you, sir. But what I'm saying but is what, you have to follow. If you do Just, not follow policies, and for your job, what happens to you? You get fired. If you do not follow the laws sir, with your sir, job, sir, but sir, all I'm asking you. You talk to him. Let me talk to him. No, sometimes I know when they say that if you can come get somebody to come pick up your vehicle, if they're not in touch. And the thing about it is. This gentleman right here, he, he was arresting him, and I called her from her phone. I was like, hey, best friend, your boyfriend is getting arrested. And he was right, hey, baby, will you tell I called when you were right here so she could come get the car. But with my supervisor saying there's nothing we can do, the car's going to be towed. Yeah, under certain, certain circumstances, we don't have, yeah, we don't have uh, discretion. We got to go ahead and tow it. Okay, well, for you, at this point, how did you get rid of that? Okay, I was about to say I could drive your car back and just meet you. This is I, I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought they did because some people do. Some people do. Come on, dude. No, no, they about to tow it. Jay, 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 Jay. They started questioning the decision of the police to tow the car of Dennis and argue. The verbal exchange adds extra complexity to an already challenging night. The women continued arguing for some time, but the car got towed in the end nevertheless. Dennis was ultimately charged with DUI for the events that transpired after recklessly accelerating from the parking lot. Now it's time to brace yourself for the final bombshell, where things take a darker turn. Turn around. This is my, my landlord's right there. I don't care. Look, she's right there. Just hang tight. She's right there, man. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah. Our final incident involves Chelsea, a furious girlfriend who unleashed her rage on her boyfriend, Julian Williams. On October 6, 2022, police officers responded to a domestic violence call and encountered Chelsea, who resisted arrest in her yard. No, you. Nope, come here, come talk to I'm me. I'm not doing a damn thing wrong. This is my yard. You better okay. go talk to him first. No, I'm gonna talk to you no, first. No, not me yes. first. I've been done called through two times. Turn around. No, you. you. Turn around. No, I give up. Turn around. This is my my landlord's right there. I don't care. Look, she's right there. Just hang tight. She's right there, man. Put your hands behind your back. Nah. Nah. Turn Cam. around. Cam! Cam! You're in my yard, you know that. I don't right? care. Turn around. I don't have a warrant. Check the end. All right, you're recording. You're recording. I know I am. Look, right there. Put your hands behind your back. It is a chaotic scene as officers attempt to detain her. Chelsea vehemently challenges the arrest, physically resists, and asserts her right to be in her own house. While maintaining control, the officers face verbal and physical resistance from the suspect. Yeah.
No, tell him. Get your off food. No. Give us your hand. No. You're going to want to give it to no, him. Bitch. Give us a hand. Oh, no. No good. No good. Just give her a second. Take a second. Relax. Hold on, let me breathe. You're breathing, you're talking. You're gonna well, fight you're gonna fight an officer. <laughs> we'll let you up and put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Give us this one. No. Nope. You got him? Yep. Oh. Don't break my shit. Oops. Oops. Give us the other ah. one. Come on, give us the other one. You got this one? Got it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> give us this one. Give it up. Hey, we're gonna tilt you on your side if you're gonna be decent. You gonna be decent? Chelsea kept showing erratic behavior, including her attempts to use her phone, inappropriate comments, and her eventual arrest. I'm not even digging. I'm not even sleeping with her. I've just been staying here because I just okay. broke up with my girl just a week ago. So you've been staying here at least a week? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah not, not in a relationship or not. No, no, just we're not. We're not. No, we're legitimately. We, I haven't even slept with her not one time. She so, is mad about it too. So she was just at her mom bitching about it. What I would like to do is I'd like to get a statement from you about the getting punched in the face. It's up to you. It's your decision. Yeah. Uh, I would like to take a photo, but that is also your decision. It is a domestic situation because you live together, even if it's only for a week. So we are arresting you on that domestic, but it's up to you to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't... You guys just do the more and just leave the domestic shit alone. We can't. You didn't hurt yourself. What <laughs> for? The officers then investigated Julian about the incident and his relationship, and told him that it was up to him whether to take action for domestic violence or not. Chelsea, what's going on with you? I don't know! You've never been like this when I've been out with you. Come here, look at me. Look at me. I don't know. Let me fix your hair for you. Just look at me. Chelsea, come on. I'm trying to help you here. Are you okay? No! While speaking to Julian, the officers heard noise from the patrol car where Chelsea was detained. They found Chelsea banging her head on the front seat. The officers took Chelsea to the hospital for a medical evaluation before taking her to jail. Considering her erratic behavior, the officers asked her to stop or else she would end up hurting her. Do you want us to roll down the window a little bit? Get you some air back here? We can do that. Would that help a little? Yep. Okay. We're going to see the hospital. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to yeah. tell him one more time that you love him? Or whatever you got going on, you care about him? He can, he can be in my house. He can be at your house? Yeah. Okay, all right. We're going to get you to the hospital checked out, okay? You can be in my house. Do I get medication to calm me down? What's that? Do I get my medication to calm me down? So right now we're just getting you medical clearance before we head over to the jail. I need my medicine to calm me down. I understand. Is your medicine at your house? No. Okay. You don't have any prescribed to you? No. Okay. Yes, I do. I have it, but I haven't been taking You're my medication. Considering the situation and her responses while driving her to jail, the officers first took her to the hospital for a medical checkup. 
Chelsea was subsequently charged with resisting arrest and domestic violence, she also had an already existing warrant for failing to complete an alcohol evaluation. Stay with us for even more thrilling moments. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for what's coming next.